My name is George Salome Jr. I've had my uh, business, my office here for approximately 15 years. I love, I love this area. I love uh, South El Paso de Segundo because it's the most vibrant neighborhood in, in, in El Paso. You've got uh, the International Bridge, so you've got a lot of fluidity of people, a lot of pedestrians, you've got uh, all kinds of movement, you've got residents, you've got commercial, uh, and it's just colorful. I think a lot of people don't know who Father Ram is. Father Ram was really amazing. He was a Jesuit priest at Sacred Heart Parish. Um, he followed a long tradition of Jesuits in South El Paso that really reached out to the community, helped the, the poor, uh, provided a lot of social services to that neighborhood. But he worked with the people to do that, so he really empowered them to create their programs, to identify the needs and create their programs. So for example, there were food banks, there were programs to help people with housing, low-income housing, there was, uh, there was a credit union for the people who lived in South El Paso. And many of these programs that he did were really ahead of ahead of their time. Um, many of these are sort of previewing what would happen in the 1960s with all the social activism, but he was doing it in the 1950s. I've heard that even some of the oh, ex-gang members that he confronted back in the 50s, uh, you know, are, uh, are people who owe him uh, a debt of gratitude and admire him. He went outside of the church and rode his bike uh, and visited every apartment, every family, uh, uh, both inside, on the streets, and he became a, a people's priest. He was able to uh, go beyond the segundo, reach out to the political class, to the economic class, to other people in El Paso, brought him in one way or another to help uh, the situation in, in, in segundo. So he, in a way, is uh, a true uh, segundo icon, a legend,